Hi. Welcome to Teklawa. Here it's Mazar, in today's is video I'm going to explain how can you add chat GPT-3 to your WordPress site for content writing. Before starting our tutorial, let's talk about the chat GPT. Chat GPT is a variation of the GPT-3 model, which is a neural network-based language generation model developed by OpenAI. GPT-3 stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 3 and is the third iteration of the GPT series of models. The GPT-3 model is trained on a massive dataset of diverse text, allowing it to generate text that is often difficult to distinguish from text written by a human. This includes natural language understanding, conversation flow, and context awareness. ChatGPT, as the name suggests, is fine-tuned to generate more conversation-like text, with more realistic and coherent conversation flow. It allows more human-like interaction and can be used in various applications such as chatbots, language models, and other conversational AI. This model can be accessed via OpenAI's API which allows to use the model with a simple API key, or you can also fine-tune or train your own version of GPT-3 by using the OpenAI's GPT-3 models and weights. Enough with this introduction, let's start with the step 1, signing up for an account on OpenAI. In the first step, you should go to url www.openai.com and sign up for an account on OpenAI. Here you can sign up with any email address you're using or with Google or Microsoft, it depends on you what type of mailing service you're using. I'm signing in because I already have an account here. Once, your account has been successfully created, now move your cursor to top right side and click on Personal. In this drop-down menu click on View API Keys. You'll be redirected to page which will show your API keys. As I've already created an API key, you can click on Create New Secret Key and your API will be created. You'll see a warning to save this API to clipboard or save it in a safe place, because once you miss this key you'll be unable to retrieve. Your first step is completed in this way, for the next step we'll go to our WordPress site to add this API key. If your site is created by programming you may go for another option to write a spurate code for inserting this API key. Let's move forward to the next step, in step 2. You have to log in to WordPress site. Go to plugins and add a new plugin. In search bar type GPT-3 AI content generator for WordPress. Once it's activated, go to settings, in the AI engine tab on the last, you'll see the option for API key. Insert the API key you've already copied from OpenAI. Now, press the save button to save the changes. After saving the setting you're ready to create content of any topic of your choice. Go to pages or posts menu and create a new page or post. I'm going to create a post in this scenario. Here you can see the language settings on top of it, choose your language if you want to write in some other languages. I want content to be written in English. In title, you've to write a topic you want ChatGPT to create content for you. Let's ask ChatGPT to write on itself. I'm going to write. What is ChatGPT? After putting the topic it's asking to add keyword, as it's a pro feature of this WordPress plugin, so let's leave it as it's for now. You can choose how many headings you want to be written against your topic, from 1 to 15 also the heading tag h1 h2 etc. What should be the writing tone and style? Whether you want to include an image to your content or not, also selection the size of the image. After setting up things what you required and how much you want to write in which style. Just scroll down a little and you'll see the generate button. Press the generate button. As you can see the pop-up which is informing for the creation of content and its stages. It usually takes 20 s to 2 minutes depending on the nature of the data and quantity of the data being asked. Here you go. It has created all of our required data, now we're ready to publish it. Simply copy the provided data and paste it above in the body of your post. It's strongly recommended not to use this data before checking it for any plagiarism. You can use smallcotools.com or duplichecker.com for checking plagiarism. Once your data became plagiarism-free, you're ready to post it on your website. 
I hope this tutorial helped you inserting Chat GPT 3 in your website. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tech videos and don't forget to press the bell icon for future updates.